Are you a coach or a creator looking to build your business on Kajabi? And you wanna know how easy is it for you to truly build out a website on this platform? Do you need to hire someone? Is it something that you can do? You really wanna see behind the scenes so that you can make an educated decision on if this is going to be the right platform for you. Well, today I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes on how you can use Kajabi's websites, how you can use their website builder and get your website up in no time. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey there coaches and creators, Brittany here and welcome to the Template Society channel where we talk all about templates, Kajabi tutorials and tips so that you can get your business up and going in no time. Now, before we dive in behind the scenes on how to use Kajabi's website builder to see if it might be a good fit for you, I definitely want you to check out a free extended trial to Kajabi. You can jump on this platform for 30 days to see if it might be a good fit and test it out and see what you can do with your business. Now, I also have some amazing bonuses that will help you to get up and going in no time. So with my extended trial to Kajabi, I wanna share with you some of the bonuses that you're gonna get when you give Kajabi a try. So to help you to get started, I have this Kajabi roadmap, which will help you to really master Kajabi. It's a ton of different trainings that will walk you through things like sales funnels, course creation, creating a thriving community, setting up your Kajabi, and so much more. I also have done for you sales page templates that will help to make writing your sales page and creating and designing a sales page so much easier than if you were starting from scratch, and course assets that you can use for memberships and communities and coaching programs and courses to help you to be able to share your wisdom through things like workbooks and creating thumbnails and presentations and whatnot. Now I have several other amazing bonuses for you, but definitely check it out and get started with Kajabi and see if it's a good fit. Okay, so let's jump behind the scenes of Kajabi. Let's see what this website builder is all about. Okay, so we're in Kajabi right now on the back end, and I'm gonna take you to the website area. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to where it says website. We're then gonna make our way down to design. We're going to make our website in the website section. Now, please note that you can make your landing pages and website in the landing page area, but I'm gonna walk you through Kajabi's actual website builder. Okay, so let's. Let's go ahead and go to design. Now, when you're just getting started, you might be trying to figure out how can I get my website up and going in no time? The great thing is Kajabi has a ton of templates that you can work with, or you can purchase templates through a vendor and use that for your site. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to where it says browse template. We're gonna go ahead and click on browse template. And when we click on this, let's see what Kajabi has to offer. So Kajabi has several different templates that you can choose from. Now I'm gonna pick a template to just show you what you can work with, but ultimately you can choose any of these templates to get started with. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Let's move forward with Taylor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Taylor. We're gonna use this. We can even take a preview of what it looks like beforehand. So if we're like, mm, nope, this is not my style, we can totally go with a different one before adding it to our saved templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with this. As you can see, it's already pre-designed for you. Let's go ahead and hit add to save templates. When I click on this, it will then allow me to work on the back end and start editing it and customizing it to my business. Now, the really great thing is no matter which template you work with, the website builder is going to be the same no matter what. So now that we've found our template, let's go ahead and move forward with Taylor. I'm gonna to go to where it says customize. When I click on customize, it's then going to let me to start customizing this, changing the text, changing the words and all of that great stuff. Okay, so let me just point out a few things in the uh, on the left hand side of this page where you can see where it says hero, newsletter opt in, podcast, and things along those lines. So Kajabi has something called uh, elements that you can use to help you to build out your website. So when I click on add section, I want to just show you all the different elements that you can see. So let's go ahead and take a peek. They have basic content where you can add things like text and call to action buttons forms. They also have something called a hero, which is the very top part of your website where you can have a countdown timer or an image or a video or audio and so many other things. There's also features where you can be able to have um, a certain number of features showing in a specific area. And there's also cursor where you can have either 
either images or testimonials showing in this area. And then you can have marketing and events. So if you are looking to have a countdown or if you're looking to have a quiz or an opt-in, what about images? So maybe you wanna add in a ton of images to your page. You can have image gallery, text to image, and just images, and you can add them all throughout. You can even add audio, add video. You can have offering and pricing showing. Uh, there's also FAQ, testimonials, socials, and also you can add in some customization if you would like. So Kajabi already has some sections put together for you when you're using one of their templates or even using a vendor template. Uh, the sections are usually already created and showing on your left-hand side. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to get started with making changes to just a template that Kajabi already has, or even a template that you might be working with whenever you purchase from a vendor like the Template Society or something else. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this background. Let's say that we want this background to not be a video. We want it to be an image instead. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says background. I'm going to click on background and I'm going to change this from a video and I'm going to now change it to an image. I'm going to select an image that I believe might be a really good fit for this background. So if I go to select image, I'm going to just grab one that I already have. If I were uploading a new file, I would go to upload new file right here. And then I would select a file from my computer uh, template and then upload them into Kajabi. For right now, I'm going to grab something I already have. So I'm going to go to select a recent file. Let's go ahead and select an image that will help to make this look completely different. Okay, so now I have an image that I want to work with. And ultimately, this is looking more in alignment with the brand that I am looking to build out here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to change this uh, background text. We want it to be something else. We don't want it to say live life on your own terms. So I'm just going to click on this text. And now I'm going to change this. I'm going to change it to that text. I'm going to highlight it so I can make it larger. I'm going to make it an H1 uh, size. I'm also going to change the background by going to the text color right here. And I am going to select a color that is bright and in your face. And I'm going to hit save. So funnel coaching, it probably would say a ton more, but I just want to have something there. Now I'm noticing that my text is kind of, um, messing up with what's taking place in the background. It's really hard to see. So I am going to make this background have an overlay to it so it can be a little bit darker. So I'm going to now go to where it says background. Let's click on background. And now I'm going to scroll down to where it says background image. I'm going to make this a little bit darker behind the scenes. So here we are. And now that I found a color, I'm going to make the overlay. Let's make it about 60. Okay, so now you can see my text more and it's in your face. Now I probably would change this to a different color, but ultimately for right now, this really works because it allows me to be able to um, see the text and see the image behind the scenes. Okay, so now let's scroll down. Let's say we wanna change this text. All we would do is just hover over the section or come to this little arrow right here and update our text over here. I'm just adding in some copies so you can see how easy it is to really customize this. Now let's say I want this background to be a different color. I don't want it to necessarily be white. I want the form to be a different color. I'm gonna just add a form in real fast. So let's go to default so you can see what the form could look like. But let's go ahead and change that background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the section. I'm gonna go to where it says background. When I click on background, I can now change this to a different color. I'm gonna change this to pink. Let's see what pink looks like and if I'm liking that. Okay, I changed this to a different color. So now you can see, again, it's getting away from how it used to look and is looking more in alignment with your brand. So you are going to just go throughout the pages and change the text, the, the images. Now, call to action buttons, which are places of where you want to guide your customer. So you want your call to action button to go to another landing page, or you might want it to go to a checkout or a sales page, or maybe you want it to go to something else Else, but we need to have a place for all of our call to actions. So if I were to change my call to action, because obviously I'm changing up the text, but let's say I want to change my call to action. What we would do is we would go to where it says call to action. All I did was click 
on the section and then scroll down to block settings. And when I go to call to action and click on that, I can change this text to be something else. Learn more about funnels. And I can now have this go to a landing page, a checkout, a download a file, or I can have it go to a URL that's completely off of this website or a two-step opt-in. Some of the other options that you can choose from are having a pop-up checkout or add to cart or having a section on this page or going to a section on the page and whatnot. So you have some options to choose from with your call to action that can lead your customers to where you want them to go next. So changing up this image, so I'm just going to change this image really quick and show you just how you can make this look so different different without having to start from scratch. So I just changed this to a new image that's uploading. And then I'm going to go ahead and update this image back here. I am going to go to where it says background image. And now I'm going to select. So I want you to think about, is this something that you think you can do for your business without having to uh, necessarily start from scratch? Is it something that can help you to get up and going in no time? And again, Kajabi has some different templates that you can work with that can make this process a heck of a lot easier. So I'm going to just change this image. And if you find that there's an image in you're like, I don't need this section. This is too much. I don't necessarily need this you can delete it. So let me just show you just because I'm going to delete this particular section. If you don't want something, get rid of it. So here's how easy it is to get rid of uh, sections you don't need. So I'm going to go to what is this called testimonials? Okay, let's go to this next section. So this is under video. Okay, so I'm going to go to where it says video, which is located right here under testimonials. And I am going to hide this section. Now, once I hide it, you can see that it disappeared. I can also delete the section. So let's say I wanted to delete it so I can go back to those three dots, hit the three dots, go down to where it says delete, and it will get rid of it. Now, I do know that there's some spacing that's going on in this testimonial area that we need to fix. So if that is the case, then what you would do is you would go to where it says desktop layout. When I click on desktop layout, I see that there's some padding, which is causing all this extra space that I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of that padding completely. And you can see that it brought it right back up. And now it brings it closer together. Okay, so now let's change this background, I'm going to make it this pink, because we're going to make this basically uh, kind of like a black, white and pink. I'm going to grab that hex color that was taking place there, so that I can make it match. Okay, so I changed this background. And as you can see, it is basically starting to really look in alignment and go cohesively together. And again, if you find an area and you're like, you know what, I don't need that, you can totally get rid of it. You don't have to keep anything you don't need. So I'm going to change that to be white. And I am going to get rid of these random images at the bottom, because I might not need that for my business, right? So I'm going to just go to delete. Actually, if I do something I didn't mean to do, all I have to do is go to undo, which is at the very top right here. You can just hit undo and it will undo what you did. You can also redo what you did if need be. So I am going to get rid of this down here, but I accidentally deleted the wrong thing. So let's go to what is this under image? Okay, images. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says images. I'm going to go to the three dots. I'm going to go to delete. And now we got rid of that. And now I'm going to go to this next section and get rid of some spacing. So I'm going to go to where it says desktop, scroll down, you notice it has spacing, I'm going to put that at zero. And hit save. I'm going to make this footer because we want it to be better than what it is right now. We're going to change the footer again, I'm going to just click on the section I'm looking to change. I am now in my footer section, I'm going to make it kind of that black color. And I'm going to make the footer actually footer will be black. There we go. And save. Now you see how you can easily come in here and change your images, change your text, you can add in your uh, forms, you can change up all of this to go to the call to action buttons to go to where you want it to go, and really start to customize this to look more in alignment with your 
business. So the main goal is to have your images ready that you are looking to use and even have the text ready that you're looking to use. If you're using one of Kajabi's templates, you might want to see what sections they have or identify what sections you're going to have on your website. Now, if you want to use templates that are not necessarily with a Kajabi, maybe you're looking to use a vendor template like the Template Society, you can definitely do so. So here are some of our templates. So I'm going to just show you our Brooklyn template real fast because this is a really great way for you to have to not have to start from scratch. So I'm going to go to Brooklyn and let's go ahead and view that demo. And what makes it easy is that the pages are already built out for you. So I have home page, about page, program page, all those pages that you will need uh, for your business. You might not need all of them, but majority of them that help you to get up and going in no time. So the pages are already designed and all you have to do is basically plug in your images, your text and your details, just like what we just did. So you can either use Kajabi's templates or you can use vendor templates like the Template Society, or you can start from scratch. Now, if you are going to use a vendor template, make sure it's for Kajabi. Make sure that you take a peek at the demo and make sure that uh, it has the pages that you want. I always like to make sure that you know what you're getting if you are going to purchase a template outside of what Kajabi offers. Okay, so now you know how to use Kajabi's website builder. I want you to take a peek and see if this might be a good fit for you and see if this might be something that you can try in your business without necessarily having to hire a, a website designer and get your website up and going really fast. And don't forget, if you are looking to try out Kajabi, definitely check out my 30 day extended trial so that you can be able to see what Kajabi is all about and see if it might be a good fit for you in your business. Now I have a ton of bonuses that you can check out to help you to get started on this platform, like my Kajabi roadmap to help you to master this platform and use it to where you can generate sales, connect with your customers, build out your landing pages and, and so much more. So I can't wait for you to give Kajabi a try and and see if this might be a good fit for you and your business. Coaches and creators, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of some of my upcoming videos. Okay, I'll see you soon.